Here's the Elliott Wave forecast for April 5th, 2012. On the NASDAQ 5-day chart, looks like we got uh, Wave 1 from 3127 to 31 to 3097. Got number 2 from 3097 to 3113. Uh, and dropping it down with a 3. If there's any silver lining to the to the drop today, the pretty um, big drop today, is that we got an upper 4 at the close. An upper 4, if 0.382 of the downward 3 from 3113 to 3053, would have retraced to 30.74 and got to 30.72 and a half, which is good enough to be an upper four before a downward five. So if we get one, two, three, four, five, I actually might I might actually go back in um, tomorrow morning and buy because that could be one, two, three, uh, perfect four before a downward five. For S and P, uh, it appears that we got a. Uh, Downward three didn't drop as as big as as the Nasdaq did, but um, looks like we got this could be A B C actually. Let me look at this, A B and C, not not exactly a perfect zigzag, but um, the reason why this downward three didn't didn't drop to is, is uh, to as low as thirteen eighty five, which is be pull a full one point six one eight, is because um we we rallied into the close, uh t um in a in a full upper uh full upper four, which would trace it downward three. And a full upper four would we'll, we'll trace to 1402, and we got to 1401 and a half. So there's a chance we got one, two, three, four before a five down. So this impulse could actually be um, near completion for the Dow. Uh, we actually got this could be A, B, C in a zigzag, but it looks like more impulsive. So that'd be wave one, wave two, wave three, a short three before a four. The four would trace to 0.32, a little bit more than 0.32 of the drop from. 13,200 to uh, 13,020. But you can call this the drop from 13,220 to uh, 13,020, the downward three. And maybe wave one, wave two, wave three. But we end up getting an upward four, which buffered the downward three. So the worst case scenario right now is that we got a downward five, which is the weakest, um, typically the weakest um, wave in an impulse. So we got one, two, three, four, and, and probably a fifth wave down in the gap. Or it could just be a regular fifth wave. We don't. I don't know exactly. But there's there's actually five five to six different um formations that uh that a fifth wave can form, so I'm gonna wait till I actually see that fifth wave and then decide if I if I, if I, if I should jump in there and buy. Uh, for an NDX, NDX looks like uh let's see NDX got a standard impulse so far. This is actually pretty perfect right now. You got wave one, wave two at the close yesterday. Uh, downward three and a perfect four. A four would have traced to 2750 and we got within a point of uh, 2750. So we got one, two, three, four, and uh, possibility if we gap down is a fifth wave down in a gap. Uh, if you drop down in a fifth wave down in a gap, I'd probably in test 2730 and or lower, I might actually jump in there and buy because that'd be one, two, three, four, five. Maybe just uh, a trade for an upper two. Uh, but if you look at this chart on the NDX and NASDAQ, it looks like you've got one, two, three, standard four before downward five, which is uh, another ideal setup that I usually have when I trade. That's a wrap.